Hello and welcome to the presentation of the 8L90 Teardown. This section is going to include the teardown, rebuild, and all the subsections of this unit. So with that in mind, we're going to get right into this transmission. And this 8L90 section is brought to you by Precision International. Now, getting into this unit, basically this is, happens to be a Corvette version of the 8L90 application. As you know from previous uh, sections in the VTS presentation, uh, they do have an 8L45 variant, which is going to be smaller. Uh, the Corvette 8L90 is very special in itself that it is mounted uh, through a torque tube behind the driver's compartment. So it's a mid-engine type vehicle uh, with a rear transmission type setup and the uh, differential is bolted directly to the transmission. So we don't have a bell housing but we have a removable torque tube housing that goes along with this and the torque converter is going to be the conventional type of setup. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary there. So with that in mind, that's why we don't see an integral bell housing. All other mod models of this unit will have an integral bell housing, uh, non-removable style. Now when removing the pump cover, there's uh, a couple ways that you can do this. Uh, General Motors shows you in the manual, in the instructions, to use uh, two slide hammers. Uh, there's going to be some threaded holes. In this position and this position, you see these holes are threaded and they are uh, they will allow you access to screw your uh, 3 8 uh, type thread slide hammer into those areas and you can slide hammer this uh, assembly out. Uh, it's a little bit rough as you'll see uh, basically there's a very thick o-ring that you have to overcome and if this transmission has been in the, in the uh, vehicle for an extended period of time it's not going to want to cooperate with you. So with that in mind uh, we did find another method that is uh, very useful and very helpful. However, uh, first thing uh, you want to look at, uh, basically because with the threaded holes, we can actually uh, pull the unit out with uh, bolts. And all you need is a couple of uh, 3 8 uh, by 16 thread bolts. Uh, you want to get them long enough so that you can um, uh, go for about an inch or so. So again, we got some kind of extra long, long bolts. Uh, uh, so we got plenty of throw space. Also, I recommend to use some check balls in the bottom pocket there so that we don't damage the thread uh, and the pumps, the, the stator surface. So with that in mind, the check balls that I'm using here to actually act as a pressing surface are about three, three inches or so, point zero, well, point three zero zero inches. So a couple check balls that will drop right in there and actually, uh, kind of protect uh, that surface down there for the stator so and that's just because the bolt ends you know usually cheap bolts they're not going to really do too much for the finish but if you have a nice finish or a bevel on the bolts then they will they won't uh, have any issue as far as or pose a threat to damage the uh, stator surface below so just putting those two bolts in is going to allow us to walk this cover out and you just want to bring it out just very easily and again it's going to draw out pretty quickly once you get to that point and you'll just see it just pop right out as we witness right here and it doesn't take much effort then from there you can pull the pump cover off there is going to be a thrust washer on the back side uh, of the cover here so you want to make sure that you uh, Give that, give an account for that. 